if you grew up in Korea or you've been living here for a long time, a lot of the stuff at a local GS25, which is just a convenience store, is going to seem pretty normal to you. But to us foreigners, a lot of the stuff there is exciting, bizarre, and new. So we're about to rate our GS25 for all the things we've never tried before, taste test them, tell you what's good, what's bad, and what's weird. Let's go. Okay, so we're starting with the bag snacks today. The first one we're gonna do is a Jolly Pong. We actually got this recommendation from a viewer. So here we go, Jolly Pong. And it looks like popped corn, except without the frill around the outside. And it's actually really good, really sweet. If you've ever had sugar crisp before, it's what they taste like. And get enough of that sugar crisp. It's almost like cotton candy in your mouth, it's very, very soft melts in your mouth, and very, very sweet. Very good. Try it out, Jolly Pong. I'm pretty sure this will be really good with the milk also. Oh yeah. The next one on our list is egg cookie. So we're not sure if it's a chip or a cookie. We'll soon find out. Looks like Smells like a cookie. Mm. Mm. It tastes like a vanilla cookie, actually. Mm. Mm. Wow. Next on the list is Goguma gum. Goguma means sweet potato, gum means I don't know, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So, here we go. It looks like a dehydrated french fry, very glossy. It's very sweet, it's almost like a Potato chip meets a cookie. It's not bad, it's not great. I would definitely go for the Jolly Pong above this, but it's not terrible. All right. Next on our list is Premium Home Run Ball. It's a little plastic container. It smells like cheese, a little bread puff. Why do I get the bad ones? Um, if you can see, the flavor to best describe this is peanut butter cheese. I think, Simon? No. It's pretty good. No. I'll pass. Um, I'm personally not a fan of peanut butter and cheese together. If you like peanut butter and cheese together, you should go for the home run ball. Next thing we're trying is the corn show. Now, it looks really interesting. It looks like a cheesy puff covered with chocolates. Uh, here we go. So let's give it a shot. It mm -hmm. um, the corn puff dissolved almost instantly, leaving you nothing with a film of corn on your teeth and then some mushy chocolate on your tongue. Um, it's not great. It's not terrible. It's not for me. I'm not gonna get this again. Next up is a very famous green snack. It is roasted squid. Okay, you can get this on the street actually, being cooked fresh. Here we go. So this is uh, ojingo. It's been roasted. And it also comes with a little sauce. Pretty sure this is a uh, gochujang, so just like hot recover paste. Alright. I'm gonna try it first without the sauce. Maybe I'll cook too much with that bite. Now, I had the texture of beef jerky. A little bit tougher. And basically just tastes like dried fish. I don't mind it. Some people, I think, would be really grossed out, but 
if you get the chance, definitely try it. I'm gonna try it to go straight Really good with the jump. Alright? Don't be afraid. Try the roasted and delicious ojingo squid. Mm.